Hi, I'm Gabby and today I'll be showing you environmental designs at the Boreal Center for Bird Conservation that just make sense. But first, let me tell you a little bit about the Boreal Center. The Boreal Center for Bird Conservation is located within the Lesser Slave Lake Provincial Park and opened its doors in the summer of 2006. Recognizing that the Boreal Center would be constructed in a protected area, plans began to evolve around an environmentally friendly building design. The building construction focused on using natural and local resources supporting the environment and the community. The Boreal Centre for Bird Conservation received a rating of LEED Canada Gold from the Canada Green Building Council in 2009. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, which is a fancy way of saying that we are superstar leaders in saving energy, water and the environment. Now that we know a little bit more about the Boreal Center, let's talk about the green environmental designs. This wallboard is called Medite 2. It's made from 100% recycled wood material. Our walls literally grow on trees. Small pieces of recycled wood are glued together, then squished to make the Medite 2 walls. Why is this better for the environment? Well, because we are using recycled product rather than new product. This product is renewable, which means it can be replaced naturally. Our flooring is called marmoleum. Marmoleum. Don't worry, it took me a few tries as well. It's different than a typical linoleum, as marmoleum is made of natural ingredients rather than plastic. It's made from linseed oil, rosins, wood flour, and ground limestone. The marmoleum is non-toxic and is also a renewable product because it can be replaced naturally. These windows help save energy. The windows are triple pane, which means they have three layers of glass instead of just one. These extra layers help keep the cold outside and the heat inside during the winter. The Boreal Center also has huge windows that flood the building with natural light. This helps reduce the electricity cost as we only need light on dull days or during the evenings. We have two huge solar panels at the Boreal Center. These solar panels are used to power our nest cabin. Solar power is made directly from the sun, so on very sunny summer days, the nest relies completely on solar power. There are some days where there is so much solar power collected that the energy can be stored and saved for later use, kind of like a piggy bank. The solar power is called renewable energy, since the energy can be replaced naturally by the sun. The sun's energy will never run out. The building has an overhang roof as well as wooden slats placed horizontally to our south facing windows. In the summers, the sun remains high in the sky and during the winters, the sun stays closer to the horizon throughout the day. This design allows the sunlight to easily pass into our building during the winter for additional light and heat. During the summer, this design blocks the sunlight, limiting the light and heat. Our building is warm and toasty in the winters because we use geothermal heating, which means we are using energy from the earth to heat our building. How does this work? The deeper you go underground, the warmer the earth gets. Our geothermal system pumps a liquid glycol mixture through a long series of pipes under the ground. As this liquid travels through these underground pipes, it gets warmer. Once this mixture returns back to the building, these heat exchanger units take that extra heat and use it to heat the air that is circulated throughout the boreal center. And the best thing of all, this form of energy is renewable. We have a motion sensor light system in the boreal center that helps us save energy if we forget to turn off a light. These lights only turn on if someone is in the room and they turn off seconds after they no longer detect movement. This fancy roof is designed at an angle to collect rainwater and snowmelt. The water can be collected on the roof and stored in a water reservoir in the basement of the Boreal Center. Did you know that a single toilet flush can use up to 14 liters of water? I had no idea a toilet could use that much water. Here at the Boreal Center, we have composting toilets, which do not require water. No chemicals are added, only wood shavings to absorb moisture. The waste from the toilet is then turned into compost. You might be asking me, wait Gabby, doesn't it stink? Nope, there are two fans that air out any potential smells so our washrooms always smell fresh. The faucets in our washrooms are timed, limiting the amount of water use in our building. 
The water stays running long enough to wash our hands and then it will automatically turn off. This way the faucet is never left on and we're able to save water. And that is all of our cool green building designs. Thank you so much for joining me in a tour of the Boreal Centre for Bird Conservation. I had so much fun showing you all of these cool environmental designs that just make sense. <laughs> I learned a lot and I really hope you did as well. We actually have a question for you guys. We want to know if there's anything you already do at home or at school to help protect our environment. We understand that you might not be able to change a whole building, but that's okay, there's still something you can do. Maybe you already recycle, maybe you already try and save water. Whatever it is, let us know at info at boreal-birdcenter.ca. We would love to hear from you. Thank you again for watching. We hope to see you soon at the Boreal Centre for Bird Conservation.